Hi everyone, my name is Xingyuan. And my name is Peter. Today we are presenting our work, Harnessing the Power of Humans Biomechanics in Force Position Domain, a 3D passivity index map for open physical human teller robot interaction. This research was conducted at New York University at the Mary Lab under the supervision of Professor Farrow Ataisa. Physical, physical human teller robot interaction has seen great potential in many applications. In physical human robot interactions, humans are in direct contact with the robotic system to accomplish tasks. Application scenarios include robotic surgery and rehabilitative exoskeletons. During PHRI, we need to guarantee, first, the safety of the PHRI system, and second, the transparency of the information transfer. For example, we want the force applied to the humans to be exactly the force generated by the robots. There have been solutions mentioned in the literature to guarantee these requirements. One popular method seen in literature is Tom Domain Passivity Approach, TDPA, which has two components, the Passivity Observer, PO, and the Passivity Controller, PC. However, to guarantee the stability, the stabilizer methods that deliver force and velocity, which inevitably degrades the system's transparency. In order to improve the transparency of the system, we have recently incorporated humans biomechanics in the stabilizer design, which means that when designing the stabilizer architecture, the energy absorption capability of the human, which is related to the passivity index, is taken into account. We use the knowledge of this amount of energy margin to absorb the energy that is supposed to be damped out by the stabilizer, resulting in less activations of the controller and thus better system transparency. However, even after incorporating the biomechanical passivity index in the common force velocity domain teleoperation architecture, the system is susceptible to position drift. The force position domain stabilization can be a solution to this problem. However, the passivity of the human's biomechanics is not guaranteed in the false position domain. In this paper, we investigate the biomechanical passivity index of the human upper limb in the false position domain under varying interactive frequencies, geometric directions of interaction, and electromyographical muscle activation levels. As a basic overview, we discuss the definition of passivity and the output strictly passive condition from strong passivity theory. For the system to be passive, the energy, which is the integral of the output times the input in the system, must be positive, meaning that the system dissipates energy instead of generating energy. The output triply passive condition defines an additional margin that encodes the extent to which the system is passive. The margin is encoded as a variable xi, and this can be considered as the passivity index. We conduct an experimental setup to measure the passivity index of the participants in our study. The participant's arm is perturbed, while the generated force and reactive position is recorded and the passivity index is calculated for different conditions as shown on the slide. There, these are the resulting 3D passivity index maps for all participants during the relaxed and stiff condition. As can be seen, the passivity index transitions from a positive to a negative value as the frequency increases. The negative passivity index means that the behavior of the dynamics becomes non-passive, which can sacrifice the stability if left alone. This is seen for all participants in most directions, and the transition frequency varies between participants. We create violent plot distributions for the passivity index values separated by frequency and muscle activation levels. As the frequency increases, the passivity index decreases and transitions from a positive to a negative. We also plot the mean passivity index values in each direction as the frequency increases. As can be seen, the passivity index trends downwards as the frequency increases and also the variance in the stiff condition is larger than the variance in the relaxed condition. In conclusion, we have found that in the force position domain, the passivity index transition from a positive to a negative value as the frequency increases. Also, there is a larger variance in the passivity index values during the stiff muscle group contraction level. For the future work, we want to design a force position domain biomechanics-aware stabilizer physical human-robot interaction that considers the transition of the passivity index with frequency. Thank you for your attention. This work was supported by the National Science Foundation and also in part by the GAN Fellowship.